Welcome back. I'm taking a break from wiring the car. I was in the middle of doing the Holly Terminator X install and noticed that I was missing a few things. The As complete as the kit is, it doesn't have absolutely everything you need for a turbo setup. So I'm just waiting on a few things to come in that I've ordered. Uh, but in the meantime, I figured I'd take a break from that and do the spark plug wires. This is by no means an instructional video on how to do this. This is how I'm doing it. We'll see if it works. Choose to follow suit if you want. But I have to make custom length spark plug wires because I'm relocating my coils inside the car. I'll show you where I got them right now. So I've relocated my coils under the dash here. And I just bought some cheap eBay um, like coil relocators. So I've got all four coils for the left side mounted basically right above the steering column, right to the right of the steering column. And then there's the, uh, the four for the passenger side. Again, I have them all numbered so I know which one's which. And I put a grommet in the floor over here. That's where my wires are gonna get out four on this side, you're going to get shoved through there. And then this car had a factory hole down here already for a cable. I just cut some relief cuts in it so that I could shove four wires through that. And if we come around the other side, bring my big light with me. On this side, they're going to come out and it's kind of hard to see right here. Yeah, I can't get the light in there, but just down there on the floor. So they'll come straight in and behind the, uh, behind the exhaust. You can see better on the other side. There's my grommet coming out of the floor. And the wires are just going to run basically straight out to the cylinders. So from up top, up top you won't really see any of the wiring. Any spark plug wires, any coils, nothing. It'll all be hidden for the most part. You don't have to do this. This is just how I'm doing it. So I bought this generic 8 millimeter set that you have to cut to your own length. It comes with the ends for the coils and each wire each wire has a like a 45 degree boot and then a straight boot and both of these will plug onto a spark plug wire so you have to choose which one you want to cut off. I'm going to be cutting off the straight ones because on the cylinder head I want them all coming out on a 45 if not a 90 but there is no 90s they're all 45s so I'm going to be cutting this end off. I already test tried it with one. So there's how my one plug wire looks. So the one end plugs on the spark plug. The other end has a different, a different fitting that I have to crimp on. This kit came with the boots, came with the crimps. And uh, I tried to look up different funky ways to do it, like basically using the tools I have, and nothing worked out well. Getting right into it, I went and I put all my spark plugs in. They were not, some of them were not easy, especially number, number one over here. The exhaust was, uh, was not in the, the best place for, to put spark plugs in. Something to keep in mind when you're doing your, your hot side. It was a little difficult to get the number one in, but it's in. And uh, the plugs I'm going with are the BR7EFs. I, I was looking up which plugs to go with, and there seemed to be two main numbers thrown around, which were the, the BR7EFs and T6s. So depending on boost levels and stuff like that, uh, some work better than others, but everyone seems to claim that that one's the best. You know, you got some guys saying the T6 is the best, some guys saying that the BR7EFs are the best. I'm going to try these, see how they work. Yeah, it's all I can do. 
And uh, basically I put the plugs in so that I can start running the spark plug wires like I did in here. Oops, my light just died. All right, my big light died, so I'm on to my little light. But I fed all four wires for the driver's side through the floor, and I'm just test fitting how long they need to be. So I numbered them all when I shoved them through, put them up to the appropriate coil, and then marked the length with a marker. So I know how long I gotta cut them. All right, there's my mark. There's my mark on that one. So I numbered and marked them. Now I'm gonna pull them out and I'll show you how I got my first one together. So when it came to making these, I looked up different ways on the internet to use the tools I have and nothing worked. Some people said use needle nose pliers and just grab the ends of these tabs, right? And bend them in to, to curl the end and then clamp it. I tried that, it didn't work. I ended up just going on Amazon and picking up a set of crimpers, spark plug crimpers, spark plug wire crimpers. And these work amazing. So if this is something that you have to do to your car, I highly recommend picking up a nice set of crimpers. It didn't even, these weren't even that expensive. And so far I've done a couple wires and it, lo it works way better than trying to use needle nose pliers or whatever else you want to try and use. So the way I did it was I took my mark that I made when I had it in the car and I cut it an inch longer. So I have cylinder number seven wire here. So there's my mark. I'm going to make it about an inch longer. Again, I'm using the 45 degree boot end. I'm saving that. That's the end on, that's the spark plug end. So then you take your crimpers. And it's got a cutting tool in the crimpers. See that? You just lock her shut, open it up a bit and it'll slide right off. That a little, little long, so I'm just going to snip the end off a bit. You fold it over, you take one of your new crimp ends, put the wire on the back side so that it's opposite the open, the open side, right? Tuck the wire on the back so it's opposite the open side of the crimp. Close it a bit with your pliers. And then right here, this spot right here, it's got the two hills on top and the rounded bottom. That's what you're gonna stick it in. You have to finagle it a bit to line it up. But once it's in, crush it all the way down. And look at that. That sucker is crimped. You ain't pulling that off. I'm just gonna cut these little hairs. So you just grab a little bit of dielectric grease. And cut a little bit of the rubber off just to make it slide through the boot easier basically beveling what's sticking out. 
It is a little bit of a fight to get it through the boot. They just dab a little bit of grease all the way around it. And you grab your boot and proceed to fight it in there. Until it becomes flush with the end. Sometimes a couple of them I had to just take my needle nose and reach inside and grab it and help pull it through because I couldn't push it by hand. But that's it. Really not a lot to it if you have the proper tool. And this is the proper tool. I tried doing it other ways and nothing worked. That worked. So your time's worth something too. And if you mangle one of these guys, then what are you gonna do? You now you gotta try and buy buy another set, a set of these. So they don't give you any extras, so you don't wanna mess them up. So I'm just gonna go and cut the rest of these, throw them in, and I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like because you don't have to sit here and watch me cut the rest of these. Okay, I'm for the most part done. See, I got the wires coming up out of the floor up to the appropriate coils. Same thing on this side. Now one thing I still have to do is, uh, you'll hear people talk about separating the wires so they don't touch or cross each other. And I've got them all going through the same grommet, obviously all touching. But uh, these are brand new wires so this shouldn't really be a problem. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put pieces of loom. I'm gonna cut pieces about a foot long and run them down and through the firewall as well to kind of separate them a little bit just so there is no interference with them, with uh, one another because this loom I have right here is, is crap it's so dry and, and brittle it's a pretty old coil I can't even pull this stuff apart to get around the wire so I gotta buy some new stuff but and I gotta tie them up out of the way I've got all the wires coming out and running along the back but I want to I want to tie them back out of the way so they're not touching the exhaust because that is no good. This side looks nice. I've got even a wire divider there. But it's nice that from up top you can't really see much. And that's the idea, try to keep it clean. So I'm just going to throw some loom on some of those and Tie back. This side doesn't really need anything tied back, but this side does. And I should be good to keep it from the heat. So again, making spark plug wires isn't hard, as long as you have the right tools. You can attempt to do it other ways. I found that buying the correct tool made the job way easier. And for some of you, you might not even have to do this. If you're still able to mount your coils on top of the valve covers and that's what you want, then go for it. Uh, for me, wanting to hide the, the coils and have a cleaner look, this is what I kind of had to do. And uh, if it helps any of you out, great. So, hopefully in the next couple days I can get the, uh, the parts from Holly that I've ordered in and I can continue with the Terminator X install and I'll finish filming that and that video should be coming out soon. But until then, good luck. Good luck with your build.